Hey everybody, it's me, the Werewolf, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Now, like I said here previously, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask was my favorite game of all time. Until Zoom White Chronicles. I played Zoom Bread Chronicles, which was great. But, let's take a look about this 3D remake. The one that we all wanted. And it's a truly the remake that we all wanted. Okay, so starting off first with Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, there has been some changes to the game that actually have made it a little bit more accessible for more people. Now, what I mean by accessible is they just rearranged and made it better for a portable platform. Now, for some people, we might say, like, they messed it up! They, 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 they took what I liked about Majora's Mask and they actually ruined it! That's how some people would say. Because now it's not as much pressure is put onto you in this game. But I do have to admit, though, despite that, I actually like that fact because even though I've 100%ed the game two times previously, the old N64 version, which on which was also on the Nintendo Wii's Virtual Console service, I do have to admit, just this 3D version remake is actually pretty darn good. Now, let's talk about some pros about this remake. Well, first of all, Majora's Mask 3D confirmed. <laughs> yep, it finally got confirmed, and also by, on the 3DS. And it was also done by Grizo. Which was also the same company that actually was the ones that did the Ocarina of Time 3D remake. So, that's another plus. Now, let's talk about some other stuff. Okay, so... Overall feel of the game. The overall feel for Majora's Mask, I gotta say, it does measure up to how it was in the original. And I do like that. Uh, the Song of Double Time... I now like that song a bit more because now instead of just skipping over for six hour periods, now I can s jump ahead any forward, any amount of time during a day. You can only go forward in time, but not go back, which I was fine with that because if they would have had it going back, it would be kind of a little bit broken. Uh, the song of double, uh, it's not the song of double time, I already talked about that one. The song of reverse song of time is now told about too, which was like how it was in the original. Um, and like how it was in Ocarina of Time, the Ocarina, you can control it via the touch screen. Also, and you can also pull it up whenever you're using to and pull it up and actually look at a song if you forgot the notes of the song. Which for some songs like New Soundwave, Bossa Nova, and the LG of Emptiness, that really helped. Now let's talk about some boss fights and boss fight changes. The boss fight changes, they now have like this big old eyeball that sticks out like a sore thumb and says like, hey buddy, this is the weak point of the boss. You gotta hit it. That was pretty cool and pretty nice. Um, though when compared to boss fights, they did leave the goat boss fight alone, which I really like because the goat boss fight was probably one of my favorite boss fights of all time. Now for Gyorg, they made Gyorg a bit more easier for some people. And I have to say, the first time I played the new revamped Gyorg boss fight, I was like, okay, what? I just saw, like, the mines and saw, like, Gyorg. He's going, <gasps> sucking it in. And I was like, oh, I hit the mines. He eats the mine, and it explodes. Almost like the Dodongo boss fight. Yep. 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 Now, and also the Twin Mold boss fight. The Twin Mold boss fight was pretty darn cool. But it also, you don't get the Giant's Mask until, like, you don't have to worry about not getting the Giant's Mask, per se, 
it's actually pretty nice that they made it so that you'll normally get the Giants mask, even though for some people in the previous game, you would just over by a skip bit, which is nice. And which by that, I mean the Giants mask after you defeat the blue twin mold, and you're about to take on the red twin mold, you get the Giants mask. So I, that was pretty cool. Now, another interesting change about the mask that I have to say that I like was whenever the stone mask. Now, getting the stone mask, you must know about it to get it in the previous for the N64. But in this game, the remake, you get it at the Pirate Fortress, which is very helpful. They made it so it was more helpful. I like that. The game design. Um, now, let's talk about some cons in which I had about it. The first one and the more obvious one was about the Zora swimming mechanic and about how it actually was slowed down. Slow down? I didn't like it. Though, I could use a bunch of my magic and still have the same experience, which I was okay with. Now, some other good changes that I've noticed and I've seen, you probably also might have seen about it already, is, first of all, the Deku Scrub cutscene is shortened tremendously. Cutscenes, after the first time you see it, they are super shortened. Good. I like that. Okay, so more stuff that I have to say about it. They also added a fishing hole, two of them per se, and if you're going for 100%, don't worry about the fishing hole, because I was wondering in Frantic Games, like, whoa man, what if they moved a piece of heart to the fishing hole, and you must complete the fishing hole? In which, no, that's not the case. This, the fishing hole is there for your enjoyment and relaxation. I like that. Um, they also added another bottle, so you now have seven bottles. And they changed around some pieces of heart, which they one thing I noticed that James around was and saw was they changed the swamp mini game where you have to shoot the targets and all that stuff. They changed not the suit targets whenever on the boat tour after you defeat Odalwa. They move that and replace it with a bottle and now I get the that one piece of art at the third night. So in the underneath the grave. Overall, let's say they did a good job recreating the best Zelda game. I have to say, not the best Zelda game, but one of the best games that I've played. Now, when you compare it to, like, Wind Waker, I'd say, now after I played Wind Waker, Wind Waker is actually a good game, and I really like Wind Waker, but I still like Majora's Mask too, in the sense that, well, first of all, the main complaint about Zelda games is sometimes that you are taking on a tour of the game in which you have to be walked to hand and say, like, Look at this! No, you can't do that. Go look at this! Go look at that! I want you have to say, Majora's Mask, this is one game. If I'd say, if you could not open world one Zelda game, which one would I pick? You can't have Majora's Mask open world, because the whole tour guiding throughout the whole story is really needed and does a good job in actually replicating the story. And you've probably already heard about that the areas already represent the five stages of depression and all that type of stuff. And was actually good way of actually leading you through the story and telling you the story. Which I really liked about the original and Majora's Mask itself. Okay, now going away in the pros with the cons, my review... For the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Weighing pros with cons. I have to give it a 
solid 9.25. I'm giving it a 9.25, mainly because, well, first of all, I really like it all together, but just giving it 9.25 is okay with me. Now, I would give it a 9.5. Even though, if you have, like, your favorite game of all time, one of your favorite games of all time, you, of course, want to give it a 10. But I don't want to give it a 10 because I want to be more like, okay, this is what this game did right, did wrong. I'm trying to be more, like, trying to look at it more the whole picture and then just what I think about the game. Now, the reason why it's also 9.5 is because... It was really fast this time around. In which Majora's Mask, you gotta enjoy the story. I enjoyed the story. Majora's Mask is a good game. Really like it. 9.25. Too much water! <laughs> no, it's got a good enough amount of water. But yes, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, I give it 9.25. This has been The Orwolf. If you liked this video, please hit like. And if you want to keep up with some more updates on this channel, hit that subscribe button. So thank you all for watching again. This has been The Orwolf, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!